It's really the ultimate experience. It's a culmination of so much hard work. It's that attention to detail which really makes such a big difference. The drama, the tactics, the excitement, the strategy, we really have got to the heart of the sport. We've had two really successful games launched already now for Formula One. When you're evaluating what to do in the next instalment, you really want to improve on everything that's there. The aim for the 2012 game is to make more of a complete F1 experience. At the start of the game now we've got the Young Drivers Test. It's a real test that exists in real life. It's uh, um, set in Abu Dhabi in 2011. And you get a chance to drive either the Red Bull, the Ferrari or the McLaren. It really gives those up and coming drivers track time to really kind of showcase their talents. And it's wonderful that we're able to copy the elements that happen on those real young driver test sessions in the Formula One 2012 game. I remember my first test was at Red Bull Racing at the end of 2007. Um, and, you know, even three years later, the people who ran me at the test still remember the job that you did, you know. So the, the first impression really is important. People still talk about the first time Lewis tested at Silverstone for McLaren, and, you know. So it is a hugely important day for a, for a racing driver. I think Coast Masters have done a super job giving regular people a proper insight into what a Grand Prix car is like. The hot lap videos, you see these kind of things on TV all the time. And we're using Anthony Davidson, an ex-Formula One driver. Keep that momentum. And he's really just directing you on what makes a good lap. So he'll be pointing out the breaking points, the things you should be watching out for. If it's a double apex, the sort of line you should be taking. This is kind of just giving you that fundamental information that you need in order to get to a new circuit, understand it very quickly and enjoy the most from it. Formula 1 games are very fast, they always have been in the past, but what we've tried to do is enable the player to drive consistently. And we've put a lot of time into working on the pad to help the player control the car at speed. We're not all Fernando Alonso's of this world, we make mistakes. So rather than just hitting the pause menu and restarting the race, you've got the ability to be able to rewind time and just get to a point before the incident and just try it again. Certainly for the novices in terms of learning racing lines and avoiding incidents, they're a really useful tool. The thing that differentiates Formula One from all other motorsports is the strategy element. Being able to make the right call at the right time. You might not be the quickest driver, you might not have the quickest car, but you can balance the elements. You've got fuel mixtures you can dial up and dial down. You've got different pit stops. Do you stop twice? Do you try and run longer? It's a thinking man's racing game.